Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, of course, in this new update that we're getting, and it's not over, some will get even more features. Core apps that are within Windows 11 22H2 are getting updated with new features. Now, to get those, remember that the Microsoft Store is where this comes from. So not only do you have to have the apps installed and they need to be up to date with the latest version through the Microsoft Store. Once that is done, um, you'll get apps. So for example, like Paint here, uh, one of the new cool features that's in it is the ability, of course, to remove backgrounds. So for example, you can click the icon, it's gonna work on the image, and there you go. You just got an image of my cat. It removes the background the best that it can. But more coming up in the next couple of weeks, Paint app is going to be updated with two features. One, two features are going to appear here on the right side. One is the uh, feature which is called Co-Creator. So you know that Copilot is capable of, if you ask it, creating images. Well, that will be integrated within Paint. So you'll be able to actually have it create funky images of some sort, of any images you want, and then the ability to continue playing with these images and so on. Another cool feature that is usually seen on much higher end software is layers. There's a layer feature that's going to be here. This means you're going to be able to add layers upon the images. So sometimes you don't want to modify the image itself, but you want to add something to it without modifying it. So you can add a layer to it. And on that layer, you will add what you want. So uh, think, think about it as they were um, plastic transparent sheets that you would add. And on each sheet, you can actually add and draw something, but it doesn't modify the first sheet, which contains the main image. So this is pretty cool, and uh, I think it's uh, fun to see that. Actually, I'm excited about the paint changes and the paint new features. I use paint a lot, and this is gonna be a lot of fun, I think, to play around with images uh, without having to download you know, big software. Like GIMP is great. It's free. It has a lot of features, but you know what, for just the basic use that I do, it's way too big and too fancy and too complex. And I think for a lot of people, that is what's happening. Now you'll have this and it's gonna work. And you know what, I think this is a cool thing. So first new features, the one with the background removal and more coming up within the next few weeks. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.